The pandemic has made the comic book industry um, completely upended the comic book industry. Maybe not for readers, they don't maybe don't notice it as much, but on the retail level, oh God, everything's so different um, and, and still changing all the time. People are coming in, they're buying their books, people are still excited. Um, I mean, I think by and large, people were stuck at home, they were bored, they had stimulus checks, and uh, 90s was kind of the last big comic book boom. So if you were a kid or a teenager in the 90s, you're about the right age now that if you had a bunch of disposable income and you were stuck on your computer, you're gonna start looking at that stuff. Um, so far, people are still into comic books. Uh, hi, my name's uh, Ryan Skinner, uh, and I own Pulp Fiction comic books in Long Beach, California. Pulp Fiction Long Beach has been open for about uh, 15 or 16 years. It was initially opened over by Long Beach Airport on the other side on Viking Way. Um, then the store moved to Clark and Atherton, which is just over here, uh, was there for the longest time, maybe like 10 years. Um, and then we've been in this spot since January 1st, 2020, which is on Anaheim and Terminal. It's been a good first year. I feel good about the next couple of years. Uh, just stay modest, stay small, um, baby steps. So everybody, on a, on a macro scale, everybody already has their own stories. They all know. Um, but it would have been like, I feel like it was around March when they started saying like businesses were gonna have to um, be closed. So that was okay. We, we saw what was coming already and we were paying attention to what stores were doing in like Pacific Northwest, like seeing what they were doing in Washington and what they were doing in the Bay Area. And they were all hustling on curbside pickup and just like, okay, but if we ring you up and you come, we can bring your books out to you and things like that. Um, so luckily we have a lot of supportive people in our community. Um, we were able to get on Facebook and do just every day, like some kind of live content. And we, we'd go into our storage units and fish out boxes of stuff that we could sell cheap and then just go on camera and talk about it and be like, this book's really cool and here's why and we're selling it for this much, who wants it? You know, like all day. Happy Friday. Happy Wednesday walkthrough on Friday. Happy Wednesday walkthrough on Friday. Uh, DC them. ran super late. Um, but if you're just seeing this for the first time, they are here, DC Books, they are ready. Okay, let's do it. Got some graphic novels this week. We got Batman's Grave and uh, Paperback. Uh, we also have uh, Batman Fear State. So this is like volume five. Miracle Molly, Mandy. Yeah, Miracle Molly. I, mean, I think it's Miracle Molly. Uh, in case you didn't hear, we do 30% off on our graphic novels every day, all year long. What a deal. Uh, the big one this week is Batman Superman World's Finest. Um, that was supposed to be our number one book this week, but again, I didn't get them until yesterday. Um, but also kind of quite famously, kind of had a hard time with DC, didn't like them very much. Uh, something, uh, time heals all wounds. Uh, we have Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld, massive super, Superman fan, huge Superman dork. I don't know, geek, nerd. Geek, nerd, have we gotten to the point yet where those are positive things yet? Uh, we got a one in 50 ratio variant, uh, big high five energy here. That's a cool kind of cover how it's like. This is a big tour of all the things we're out of. We're out of Avengers. Um, Wendy, would you mind getting the phone? Stop. Out of the bag. Doop, doop, doop. Baby steps, baby steps. I'm doing a sale, lots of sales this week. Nice. Uh, we're running low on graphic boxes again, so we gotta wait for them to make some more, but those have a few left of the, those ones that we have there. Um, it's really cool if you wanna come in and support some local artists doing some indie books. It's a lot of fun. Only at Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction exclusive. Uh, vampires in a concentration camp story that I really wanted to read and haven't had a chance yet. Everybody's impaled by a pole. You will see they're like little icicles. It's not good. My probably pick of the week, you gotta check out Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. I don't know what that was. I also have too many copies of Wide Last Man. Tom was way better than the show. Uh, we're going to be marking down all of our bin books. Our, our collectors, our bin divers, you're gonna to wanna to get in here tomorrow for sure. Well, thanks Ryan, I know you got a lot going on. You got Cal State here, you got- All of these, ah! All the places. Send them an email if you have a question. Talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My job never ends. It's always going. I can answer that, talk to that later. Uh, that's my wife, that's how important you are.